Right, what's up everyone? I'm gonna show you how to send the sampler, the sampler? No, the sampler module to a dedicated channel on the XDJ-AZ. This would also apply if you're an, on an other all-in-one device. Cool. So first and foremost, gotta get the AZ onto software control or MIDI mode. So press the load button to turn on the control mode. So I've gotta press all these four buttons. If I'm using all four decks to control what's in record box. So I want to assign the sampler, you know, my sampler send channel samples into channel four. Okay, so while I'm playing deck four, it'll also share what's coming from the sampler module in Rekordbox. Okay, so there's a quick shortcut if I don't have an um, if I don't have an external MIDI controller. If I hit Shift, then Beat Jump. I've only got one sample here, which is over there. Okay, so um, normally. Normally, the horn or just well, the sample would come out of just your normal master, okay. And as I hit that sample, there's nothing metering at all, only from the master, okay. So what you'll see from the from the sampler panel is, look at this, different outputs. That's great. So if I select output number four, guess what's going to happen? I'm just going to turn that down. Hit the horn, and guess what? It's coming out of channel four. That's how it's done. Alternatively, you can head over to preferences, audio, configuration, input and output, and you can see that over there, XDJ AZ channel four. So if I change that back to sampler, you'll see that change reflected on there as well. So that's how you send your sampler to a different channel on your all-in-one device.